The Bible study title for today is called For the Time Will Come. In our time, the word charge is seldom used the way Paul uses it in our verses, today. The usage in the King James Bible per our verses, today, means, to lay on, give or communicate, as an order, command, or earnest request, to enjoin, to exhort. I charge thee therefore before God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. 2 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 5. Let's break this down. Paul gives a charge, command or earnest request, to Timothy, and it is to preach the word, what word, you might ask. Well as you know by now this would be the word that Paul taught Timothy, namely, the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16 verse 25. And this charge is not just when it is convenient, rather Paul instructs that Timothy is to be ready to preach Christ according to the revelation of the mystery both, in season and out of season. And this preaching will include, as needed, the use of the preached word to reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine. Essentially Paul is saying that Timothy will encounter folks that will not want to line up with Christ's instruction given to Paul to give to the body of Christ and Timothy will need to be long-suffering as he corrects this with the doctrine that Paul instructed. Paul then shares a sad prediction, namely that the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Surely, by what we can readily observe in church world, we have come to this time. Obviously, sound doctrine is not something that the average Christian will listen to much less spend the time in the Word to learn for themselves. Instead, the Bible teachers of today lean more toward teaching fables, keeping the hearers happy and inclined to give. A sad statement, indeed. But Paul would not have Timothy, nor us, lean in such a way. Instead, he instructs Timothy, Watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Essentially Paul is telling his son in the faith, Timothy, to watch, endure, evangelize, and make full proof of his ministry. Example, instruct those one in evangelism with the truths he himself had learned. So, the question to us is have we come to the time when folks will not endure sound doctrine? It would appear so. And this is why Bible Game Changer was started, example to challenge believers to learn sound doctrine and know what they believe and why. Certainly, you should not believe what is said here without searching the scripture to see whether these things could be so. Hopefully this minimally aids in generating a hunger to know the truth of God's word. Believer, learn know the truth. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.